Hey everybody, so in today's video we're going to take a look at some of the wireframe creation tools. Uh, where you're going to find this on the ribbon bar is under Create 2D, and this will be where the majority of your wireframe creation tools are. Uh, standard uh, drawing features like creating points, uh, lines, a variety of different line styles, arcs, splines, uh, other shapes, creating fillets, uh, etc. So I'm just going to go over some uh, basic geometry creation. A lot of times when you begin to draw a part, you're going to start with a rectangle. Uh, one of the things that you'll notice is that uh, the square or rectangle will follow your mouse. Uh, if you left click anywhere on the screen, it will give you a preview of that location. Uh, you have the ability to adjust the base point at that uh, time, and you can also change its reference location. Uh, this is part of Bobcad's dynamic drawing, so you see a preview of what you're drawing before you actually lock it in. Once you're happy with your settings, you can click OK to finish drawing the rectangle. Uh, the rectangle is a modal function, so it will continue to draw rectangles until you cancel out of it or you initiate another drawing command. I'm just going to cancel out of it at this point. So we have a, a rectangle here. Um, and again, like I said, this is a very common base piece of geometry. Now from here, the next thing I want to go to is the line menu and then line parallel. Again, when you're reading off of a blueprint, it's very common to have an outside shape and then to create parallel lines uh, from that outside shape. So we're on line parallel here. There's a couple of different options of whether it's you can drag it or one side only or a distance. In this example, I'm just going to put one for the distance there and then I'll click on one of the lines. Now, as I move my mouse from the left side to the right side, you'll see how the parallel line will switch which side it's on. So creating parallel lines is very easy to do. Uh, again, this is a modal command, so it will stay active until you either cancel it or choose another function. Uh, the next one I'm going to go to here is going to be the arc menu. Uh, again, there's a number of different uh, points, lines, and arc uh, styles that you can choose from. I recommend that you, you take some time to get familiar with each of them, but uh, they all basically work the same way where you'll choose the function and then it will have specific uh, attributes for you to adjust that function. You know, this one is arc two points, so I can pick one for the center and then one for the radius. Uh, once I'm happy with my settings, again, I can always go in and adjust the MDI if I want to make it uh, greater or smaller. Uh, when I'm done, I can click OK and then cancel to lock out of it. All right, the last one I'm going to do here is going to be line uh, tangent. So I can select this arc and then I can pick an endpoint here. And you can see how really in just a few moments, uh, you can create geometry rather quickly. Again, if you make a mistake, you can hit Control Z to undo. Um, you can also select geometry and delete it. So in this case, I've generated some geometry. Some of this geometry may have been used for construction purposes. I have the ability to select it and delete it as necessary.